they'd cut to a close up of Wade and he goes, like the marshmallow man in Ghostbusters. And I was like, movie, enough. I don't need any more 80s movies telling me how to understand modern movies. Like, just stop. Like, it's the same, it triggered the same reaction in me as in uh, The Flash when they were like, Oh yeah, because Back to the Future, blah blah blah. It's like, can I can I have a different frame of reference for anything in life that is not other eighty? That's not movies from the nineteen eighties. Guys, tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm a curmudgeon. Well, I think that you were wrong in the Flash because I do think that Back to the Future is still kind of a standard way of thinking about time travel. But here it comes out of nowhere. I agree. It's part of the collective culture, Elliot, where we all <laughs> absorb similar information. <laughs> there was a time when the collective culture. Rep- it covered everything from Howdy Doody to William Shakespeare, and now it just seems to be movies I mean, that came out between 1982 and 1992. If Howdy Doody or William Shakespeare dealt with time travel, maybe we should talk about uh, the Flash. <laughs> William Shakespeare did deal with time travel in The Timepist. The Timepist. Shut up. Um, 